Go, don't play with it, don't be the size. It's Blixis, aka L. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be showing y'all a clearer tutorial on how to make a chain on GIMP. And I'm gonna tag in a how to make a chain on mobile too. For those who really don't like laptops. So the first thing you want to do, I'm trying to make it as thorough as possible because the last video was a bit confusing for you guys. So I'm on GIMP. You can download it off of the internet for free first thing you want to do is um go to file new you want to make the image size 512 by 512 if you want your chain to come out clear um let me see you're gonna want a chain bell which is a little piece that connects the uh the part of the chain so um hold on You can find them off of Google. They have different ones. You can take them off chains. Like these is this part, right? For example, like this, you could take this and cut it out. Or this and cut it out. But I already have my own. So, um. This is my chain bell. Um, you're gonna need fonts, so you're gonna go to the font dot com. Oh, I can't spell. I got on these long nails. That's why you find a font that you want. You have over a hundred to choose from, like these, or you can go to. Many of my customers already know this website, fontgenerator.com. This one has a variety. It's a couple pages, not that much like um, the font. Um, we're going to choose one from here. So y'all can see what to do if you ever choose one from this website. Let me choose something that looks nice. Let's do this one. I'm gonna click customize. I'm gonna write your text. We're gonna do my name. Right? Slow ass Wi Fi. You're gonna make it real big, like so. And you're gonna download as PNG. So once that's done, go back to GIMP. You're gonna find the file. Open, not as layer. There we go. So you see how it has this little word right here? You're gonna take the move tool. You're gonna bring it down. Like so. Then you're gonna go up here and drag it and drop it here notice how you can't see it that's because you have to go to color colorize and make it white like so um you can increase it a bit go here and click scale so it doesn't lose like the graphics i keep this on keep it x'd i'm gonna show y'all what it do when it's on, it moves like this, right? But when it's off, you can move it all which way. And we don't like that. So we're gonna keep it on, make it bigger, like, uh, like that. Now what you need is your textures to go inside the chain. You can also find that on Google, to be honest. Let me see. No, type in diamond textures, not chain textures. Let 
So much to choose from. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put some um, links in the description box so y'all can skip this step. I'm going to help y'all out. Um, let me get my texture. This texture was given to me by my own by my teacher shop um u g e x let me make sure that's his name mm. yep shop u g e x on imbu he's the one who helped me learn how to make chains and stuff like that not even just chains just like everything since like 2020 maybe even before that um let me see this is the texture i'm gonna be using today you guys cannot get this only because it was given to me and you know but i'll leave some textures for y'all to use so what i'm gonna do is go to um where is it edit and you're gonna copy or if you're on a computer i use command c it's easier for me i like shortcuts go back to your name go to layer transparency alpha to selection and you're gonna go to edit Okay, I, I clicked the wrong thing. You will click fill with pattern. Let me do it over. Fill with pattern and that would fill the whole word. Next, what you wanna do, go here and create a new layer and bring it down. You want to go back to your word layer. No, I'm sorry. Select, grow, we're gonna do it by two. You see how it increased? So you're gonna fill it with black, right? So you're gonna go to edit, fill with background color, which will be the black one. You see it here. Then you wanna go to select and grow again. We're gonna do it by like mm, five. We're gonna make a new layer, bring it down and fill with pattern will be the diamonds right there's two ways you can do this you can duplicate it and use the move tool to like give it that shadow effect or you don't have to it's up to you and then you will go to filter blur and you click the second one you can play around with it a little bit You can also blur the second one if you want. It's up to you. Just explore it, you know, get creative with it. And what you can do now, you can merge them all down. Go to select and hit none to get, you know, the little dotted lines away. You can use a move tool to bring it up a little bit. What I also like to do make a new layer and we're gonna fill the whole thing with the pattern so the back the background is full of the diamond texture then go to your um, your word layer go to filter decor add bevel I'm gonna bring the thickness all the way up turn off turn this off and turn this on click OK you're gonna see it doing this little thing in the back I don't know why my gimp is moving so slow today I don't know if y'all can see the difference but let me show y'all y'all see it I don't know if y'all can see it but yeah that makes it like stand out more so we're gonna um
We're gonna take the word and bring it up a little more to the chain bail. You're gonna save it. Command, shift, or you can go to file and export as. Name it, so I like to name it chain. And here's what else you have to do. Um, take off this diamond layer. You're gonna make sure you're selected on the word, go to color, colorize, bring the lightness all the way up. Bring the chain bell all the way up. And you're gonna export this also as a new file. Make sure you change the wording of it. So it's like that. Now, um, let's go to IMV. Actually, hold on. Y'all yeah, been asking me where did it arrive from, so I'm gonna show you guys. Accessory. You're gonna go to um chains. And you're gonna filter this right here. Show derivable products only. Okay, we're gonna just choose this one. We're gonna copy this product number. If you're using the old client, you can just click this button, but I'm on a Mac, so I can't really use that. I have to use IMVU Studio. You can download that off of IMVU.com, IMVUStudio.com, and stuff like that. The internet, the internet. Okay, so you click create and you go to PID. Don't know what it stands for, but you're going to paste the number that you copied off the website into this little box which would be this right here y'all really got to do y'all research when you're making um your chains and what i mean by research is like go through different chains on um the website this website go through different chains Usually you click like products like this or the derivation derivation tree whatever and you click to like the first person who ever made the chain and they would have like um the texture for these where you can save them to your computer and you can do whatever you want you can modify them and etc that's where I got most of my uh cuban links and stuff from just by doing my research now if you're going to become a chain creator i recommend getting like a chain display so you can see your um see your chain like properly um let's full screen this now i'm gonna go to where you see the pendant um Depending on how the chain is, sometimes you'd have to move the chain belt all the way up or all the way down. You'll have to play around with it. Um, let me see how this one works. Okay, so here's our chain. That one goes in the diffuse. I'm going to show y'all why I use, um, why I put the diamonds as the background as well. You see how the bottom of here is like black? That's because she had her background black. See? So it's going to show at the bottom. But once you, um, once you fill the background up with the diamonds, I'll show y'all. Like so. For opacity, you put the one with the white, the all white the preview. I'm going to show y'all. You see how the bottom is now like, you know, silver. Yeah, so this is how you make a chain. I don't really like this Cuban. So I'm gonna uh, change it. It just doesn't fit, you know? Yeah. I got too much, too much, too much, too much stuff going on over here. 
and if you change one you got to change them all and notice how I put the um the white background behind it because I'm not trying to like have it all black around the edges let me see if I can zoom in closer so y'all can see the difference nope that's as far as it'll zoom all right fine now to make um your icon for I'm you studio it doesn't need like an exact dimension I know for classic you need like a hundred by eighty um oh never mind look it says it right here scratch all of that but I know like I usually just put random stuff in here and it doesn't even say anything but I have my own icon which and then you name it I won't be a submitting it because there's no need for me to submit it but um matter of fact I'll do it just to show you what to do next um okay so derivable means other people can take your chain and create from it so we're going to keep that off I don't want it searchable searchable and chop so we're going to turn that off display only means like people can see it but they can't do nothing with it it tells you what it means literally and allows other creators to add this product to bundles and outfits so no here you can change if you want it to be AP or not no need to really touch any see no don't do what I did you don't need to touch nothing here unless you want an AP um that's about it you click submit it's gonna tell you how much it costs right it's gonna bring you to your website big red box unpublished here you make sure to click this if you don't click it it's never gonna be in shop it's gonna it tells you it literally tells you you can see it and use it but others cannot so make sure you publish it and then you just wait for um for it to pass peer review and that's how y'all make a chain i hope this was easier for you guys to understand um any questions let me know but now i'm gonna show y'all how to do it on mobile like your phone or your ipad or something i'm gonna use my ipad because it's a bigger screen and i have these nails on so it's much easier for me to maneuver so what i use is ibis paint x um you're gonna go to my gallery make sure the canvas is um 512 by 512 nothing changes nothing changes at all click ok you want your background to be black always okay say you wanted like this one right here um you would save that how the hell why is not making me save it though there we go get all of this get it from your camera roll like so um background removal this is new i don't think i've ever seen it like this i'm gonna cancel and do it the original way you're gonna go use your magic wand and like click and then just I need a bigger eraser just erase all of that there you go you don't quite need this part so you can erase that as well you can get your chain bell back size this down is too big and that's basically it you save this Right, you can merge this down, put it as invert so you can get the white, save that, email it or airdrop it to your computer, and I'll show you what to do next. Man, be for real. All 
All right, so we got to make the background a uh, diamond textured. So we're just going to hit them with the, yeah. I'm just going to save that. And there you go. And we have this right here. Let's see how it turns out. Because this is honestly my first time making a chain on my iPad. So it's my first time too, y'all. So bear with me. Hopefully it turns out good. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. That looks really good. Hold on. We're going to try that one. This one really came out cute. This came out real cute. I might put this in shop, not gonna lie. Yeah, we're doing it. I don't feel like taking a picture of it though, not gonna lie. Ah, oh, that's a lot of work. Just finna hit them with this and call it a day. It's a sonic chain. Call it what it is. And this can be for, it depends. So your keywords, Blixis, Blix, Chain, Diamond, Sonic Chain, etc, etc. I'm going to make this searchable. Submit as new. Do not resubmit because that will just change how the other chain looked that we made before this one. So I wouldn't recommend doing um <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing name chains on mobile. Just stick to <laughs> stick to the computer if you're gonna do that. But yeah, um Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave me any questions in the comments or DM me on Instagram and I'll get back to y'all. Leave me suggestions on what to do as well. And I'll um, do it. Okay, thanks. Bye.